Hi, in this video, I will show you how to build the sliding animation in Swift UI. All the other animations are obvious, so we will focus only on the slide to cancel animation. The animation consists of array of characters, which makes each of the characters slide from the right to left using delay, offset, hue rotation, and 3D rotation in Swift UI. I have already created an Xcode project, so we are going to add the text here. The text animates with an arrow, so we will add that also here. We cannot use a normal text for this animation, so we are going to create the text as an array. Let's create the constant letters. Then we assign the letters constant to an array. So let's put slide to cancel. Next, we need two state variables to create this animation, rotation and sliding. We will use rotation to rotate each of the letters as they slide from the right to left. And then to create the actual sliding animation, we will use this state variable. So we have the initial state of the rotation set to zero. Then we have the other defined as boolean. Once we define the initial state of the animation, we then need to define the final state. So we want this animation to be triggered automatically as you saw initially. So, I have added this on the peer modifier to all the views on this screen. So let's add the final state of the animation. For the rotation animation, we have the initial state set to an angle of zero. So for the final state, we will set it to an angle of 360. That is one complete revolution. Then the sliding state is set to false. So let's flip it and set it to true. Next, we will add the constant we defined here to the interface and also the back arrow. Since we define this as an array, we need for each to iterate on each character in the array. Let's use a one-sided range. The lower end will be zero. Then the upper end will be the number of characters in the array. So we can assess that with count. Then we set the ID to self. Next, we add the loop iterator. For this, we can name it anything. So let's use slide. Then we add a text view. For the text view, we are going to convert the array of letters to a string. That shows the text on the screen, but part of the characters are mixing. So let's place the for each in an H stack and reduce the spacing between the characters. So I will set the spacing to zero. Now we have the text slide to cancel. Let's also add the left arrow. That will be an SF symbol. We can add some styling to the arrow and the text. For the arrow, let's use a font of subheadline and then we set the font weight to bold. We want the text to appear as blue. Both the text and the arrow contain different animations. So let's start with the animation of the arrow first. To animate the arrow, we are going to use scale, opacity, and offset. So let's begin with scale. For the scale animation, we will use the state variable is sliding. So let's copy it here and use it along with ternary conditional operation. So I will bring a question mark. And then for the true value, we will set the scale to 0 0.25. With the false value, we will set the scale of the arrow to the original size, which is one. Now you can see we have a very small portion of the arrow appearing on the screen. Next, we will add opacity animation and animate it from 0 to 1 using the same state variable. That makes the arrow disappear completely. The last property of the arrow we want to animate is the offset. That is the X offset. So let's add it below the opacity modifier. We want to move the arrow on the X offset of the values minus 50 and 1. We still don't see the animation 
because we haven't added it yet. So below the offset modifier, we will add the animation modifier. With the animation modifier, we need to specify two parameters. That is, the first one is the easing, and then the value parameter. The value is the same as this state variable. So I'll copy and paste it here. I have already defined the easing for this animation over here. I have already assigned this animation easing to the constant slide gently. So let's use it as the easing function and preview the animation. So this is how the arrow is animated. Let's go to the text. With the text, we want to create scale animation, rotation, opacity, and hue rotation. So let's begin with scale. We will use the same state variable, the sliding. So for the true condition, we want to scale each character to 0 0.25. And for the false condition, we will set it to the original size, which is 1. Let's add the animation modifier in order to see the scale animation. We will use is out for this animation. Let's choose the one that has duration and set the duration of this animation to one second. For the value, we are going to use the same state variable, the sliding. There are several other modifiers we want to add to this easing equation. The first one is the delay. For each animation iteration, we want to have a delay of two seconds. Then we want to repeat the animation forever. So this scales the text up and down. With the repeat forever modifier, we can also pass another parameter auto reverses. So let's add that and set it to false. So that scales the text together. But this is not what we want. We want each character of the text to scale at a different delay. So after the repeat forever modifier, we can add another delay. For this delay, we need to access each of the individual characters of the array. To do this, we need to convert the loop variable to double. You can see that scales part of the text at different delays. I experimented with different values here. So I found dividing this by 20 is the best for this animation. But looking at this animation, you can see the sliding moves from the left to right. To reverse the direction, we can add a negative sign in front of the loop variable. So now it slides from the right to left instead. Let's move on to the next by rotating each of the characters with 3D rotation. Below the scale effect modifier, we will add a 3D rotation effect. For the angle of rotation, we will use the state variable rotation. So we want this animation to take place on the y axis. So let's set the x axis to 0. Then we will set the z to 0 as well and y to 1. So you can see as the letters slide from the right to left, they also rotate with 3D rotation, but they rotate in the opposite direction. So what we can do is to add a negative sign for the y coordinate. So it now rotates in the same direction as the slider. Next, we will add opacity animation. We have one already added here. So let's copy that and paste it here. The last animation to add is hue rotation. Using hue rotation, we can change the color values of each of the letters as they slide from the right to left. So below the opacity, let's add the hue rotation modifier. We can specify the angle in degrees or in radians. Let's use degrees. So by using the same state variable, a sliding, along with ternary conditional operation, we will specify the true value at an angle between 0 and 360. So let's add a sliding and bring a question mark. Let's put 320 for the true value. And the false value 
will be zero. You can use any angle over here, depending on the color you want. For example, changing this to an angle of 150 will give a different color. But we are okay with the previous one, so I will undo the change. So this is how to create this sliding animation here inside Swift UI. Thanks for watching this video.